Don't chap your fingers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Three, take one. Where he's talking about Anita Byron's reference, you know, we've had a drought because of gay people. And it was only a couple of years ago, I think, that the UKIP politicians said yeah. pretty much the same thing. Yeah. Or the, the, No, the other way, the, yeah. the flooding. Um, <laughs> and so he, he, op he opens it up. And it's just very, it's entertaining. It kind of grabs you. It has this humanity and character. We are quite obsessed with presidents and prime ministers and leaders. Harvey Milk wasn't the president of America. He was just one man in a huge system making a speech in a day, which we have equivalencies now of people who are being relatively ignored, 57 views on YouTube maybe, giving empowered, passionate speeches. These are our politicians. These are the people that are speaking to us. When you look at LGBT ac activists like Laverne Cox, mm -hmm. she's as, as much of a politician speaking about gay politics to all of us. RuPaul, mm -hmm. someone who is actively engaging people, has a message, has her own beliefs, is honest with you, has a personality, but also clearly selling you something. That's the sort of model that you should look at and go, well, they've built something, I could build something in my own way. One of the most important things about the speech was dialogue when it came down to it. And you know, there's no same-sex SRE in schools. There's no real visible role models within the education system. The legacy of Section 28 is still within schools. And so LGBT people are still hiding themselves away. And I think that has really bad effects on people in later life in terms of mental health and in terms of you know, uh, being able to be visible and be able to be outspoken. I found exactly the opposite when I go to schools. Really? Yep. I'm terribly hopeful. Mind you, I, I, I go to the good schools, the ones that yeah. started tackling the problem, but there are, there are a lot of them. Faith schools as well. Yeah. They're having to work out how do we not discriminate? And the response of the kids is, don't give me a label. And those of us who are gay say we're gay because for years people have pointed at us and said, you're queer. But if they hadn't pointed at us, perhaps we wouldn't be thinking about defining ourselves that way at all. And the kids are saying, I, well, I, I may be bi at the minute, I, I'm a bit fluid, I, mean, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'm just me, I am what I am, there we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holding my boyfriend's hand, like, on the tube, I still feel scared. But I keep his hand in mind because I want okay. to be visible and I think it's yeah. important to be visible. Yeah, but then I read on social media an article about a guy who was holding his boyfriend's hand in a pub in Peckham and a guy walked up and shoved a glass in his face. So you, you can't, like, this is... But this he was breaking the law. 20 years ago, he would not have been. Okay. He would have been, the, the gay people would have been pr provoking him. And they would have been guilty. One of our biggest problems is mental health. People look, not looking after themselves. Hope and having a personal relationship with hope and how you view things is one of the best protections you can have. He found like a really integral truth there that you're not responsible for what people do to you, but you're responsible for how you move on from that and how you deal with that. If you leave it for too long, it can create really negative things inside yourself. So it's worth working on constantly every single day. And when you fail, you have to try again and it's ongoing. He was embracing everyone, all the others and misrepresented minorities. He was like the Latin community, the black community, and he was like bringing everyone together that wasn't represented. And that's, I think that's where the hope comes from. When you're involving all of these misrepresented communities, there's such strength in that. We need to especially look at trans people who are not afforded mm -hmm. the privileges that white gay people here that are represented here. Whilst we can appreciate that we are are at a great stage in this community and we, we are in a great position in society until the Almeida can do a call out to the queer community to come and listen to Ian McKellen do a mm -hmm. speech and you have six white people turn up mm -hmm. until that changes until that is different then mm -hmm. I have hope but there's still yeah. so yeah. much absolutely work yeah <laughs> yeah to do Thank you. Thank you.